Microsoft comes in all the time because we are a Fortune 500 company and they want to tell us, you know, what Intune can do and what uh, Microsoft SCCM can do. And really when we actually break it down into what we're delivering for the business, we understand that Microsoft can do some of that, but they're not able to deliver on that, uh, you know, the deep level of administration that we, that we get from Avante. Um, and that's really what has kept us with the product for so long. We have thousands of offices, um, you know, across the U.S. That uh, uh, and my, my role and responsibility within the company is uh, I oversee desktop engineering, which is endpoint management. I oversee the uh, PC depots, onboarding, offboarding, PC refreshes, and I also oversee ITAM, so hardware and software asset management. We're a shared service or an in-source IT, so we provide uh, the services, the IT services, to all of those. Uh, separate business units and all of those business units uh, act in and are pretty much independent business units and we have to treat them that way. When I came into the organization we had Landesk, um, so Landesk was the uh, endpoint management solution. It used a, in a few of the business units, not really widespread, um, and it kind of uh, hobbled along for, for a couple of years and then I guess about eight years ago um, myself and my department, we took it and, and went uh, pretty much national, centralized endpoint management. I had to kind of go through uh, the different business units and different tools that they were using and centralized to uh, one unified endpoint management solution. Our infrastructure was very much uh, correlated kind of the way the business was, right? Um, so the business is made up of a lot of different business units and the, the same thing, each business unit for a very long time, even though they were kind of shared services, they had their own tools and, and, and own um, processes and really going through, uh, going through those experiences of what they were doing. We realized that we had those capabilities within Landesk and we could go wide scale and had to earn the trust with, with each of them. So you kind of deploy the agent, you let it sit there and, and, and be, you know, in the background for, for a while. And then when they asked for something, you were able to deliver, you know, that, that type of uh, experience. And then you slowly but surely eliminated the products that they had um, on there because you proved the value. And I think that's what every um, business unit was looking for. Can you still deliver um, what we're used to because yeah, again, they, they, they operate independently but they, and they want their own identity. Everybody was asking for, you know, their own specific reporting, but we as an organization or as an enterprise need to understand what's the entire infrastructure look like. Um, so going to that one single pane of glass, we were able to uh, have all the data coming into one uh, one location. We were able to provide the necessary reporting to the to appropriate parties, but also have uh, you know uh, an enterprise look at the infrastructure. So the product that we use um, is uh, Avante Endpoint Management, but we also are you know new to uh, Neurons and Dex. What we've been able to achieve is the deep level of administration to our workstations. Uh, we were able to do that deep level of administration on machines that are all over the globe. Um, you know, they don't need to be on our network. We're able to, you know, uh, manage them from a single uh, administrative tenant uh, or console and, uh, and, and really be able to make whatever business or machine change or configuration change that the company needed. The other thing with the Avante product that it was very important to us is the scoping. Um, so because it, um, because we're able to identify certain, uh, you know, groups of machines or certain user groups from uh, Active Directory that, okay, this is part of Cobble Banker, they get this screensaver and you know create that automation to where users sign into a machine they're getting a different experience because we're able to scope to um to you know the um to their particular thing but we're not recreating the wheel we're not uh we're not going out to a different product and you know creating a, a screensaver policy it's just which file is getting sent to them so it's really being able to deliver that 
a unified experience to different uh, user groups. The R ROI is uh, very important when you when you when you sign a large contract like a, re a renewal of a solution like Avante. Everybody wants wants to know like, well, what are we paying for, and why is that? So, the ROI was kind of, kind of explained um, throughout those processes and saying, hey, you, you, we have a we have a solution here that's be, being able to manipulate these machines, upgrade these machines, patch these machines, without sending a tech to that office to do it. So when you look at um, things like a, a Windows uh, build version update, or even transitioning to Windows 11, we're able to push those updates to the machine, to the user that they can, you know, do it on their own, either self-service or we're, we're deploying it to them. We're no longer dispatching text to brokerage offices um, so you're saving on travel time, you're saving on tech time, and you're saving so the the value really kind of gets flushed out there as you, you realize the uh, ROI.